Alright, my friends, it's Krebs here, and we're playing some Space Engineers! Today we're going to be taking a look at the USF Testament. It is one of the most popular downloaded ships in the Steam Workshop at the moment, and you can probably tell why it's one of the most downloaded ones. It looks absolutely sick. If you could describe this, it looks sleek, it's dark, very nice contrast of the red and the black. Yeah, and overall, what you could say is it looks like a badass ship, if anything. Looks really, really, really nice. And to give it a bit of comparison on how big it is, we've got that default red ship over there. The one that's right beside the spawn point when you first get into the game. That's pretty damn big, the red ship. Now this is a number of times bigger. It doesn't necessarily look like it's bigger in terms of the height size. I mean, it is bigger, it looks like, but the length... Yeah, this is definitely uh, an almost like a, a carrier in a way because it actually has these, this hangar over here which has a number of fighters inside of it. Now, this is made by EC Moon. You can go check it out on the Steam Workshop if you want. There's a whole backstory behind it. Like, it got lost in infected space for five years. It was recently discovered or something, something like that. If you're really interested in the story, you can go check it out. Uh, but overall, I think what this ship is... Uh, gonna bring up is two points I want to talk about. One about the in-game content and one about what I'm working on next. Uh, and what's really nice about checking out the Steam Workshop and these builds is it gives you ideas of what you can actually make. Obviously like this would have taken a long time to make. Uh, sim thank god for symmetry mode and how much time that would save to actually complete these things. But uh, you can still tell that it would take a lot of time uh, to put something together like this, maybe like a day or something of, of this size, this caliber. So, let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to start off the small fighters over here. Uh, and they look pretty damn sick. So you can see that there's a number of fighters, there's some situated inside, some on the outside. We're just going to jump on real quick to see what it's like. we got these small reactors at the front. Seems very, very maneuverable. You've got uh, Gatling guns. You've got rockets, I'm sure. Yeah, you've got rockets. And there you go. Yeah, seems like an overall pretty damn decent fighter. What I really like about this thing, though, it's got these reflectors lights at the front. But that's not the awesome thing that I wanted to show you. It's the way that it looks at the back. Look at the way that there are these diagonals over here. And how the engines have been laid out. I think that's really cool. It, it, it just looks very sick, like, that's that's totally dedicated towards being the propulsion uh, side of, of of the ship. And I, I just like the way that it's laid out. It looks really, really badass. I like how everything's pointed when it comes towards the end of, uh, of bits. Yeah, looks really badass. So let's head on into the middle section of the ship here, where the hangar is. This is where... If you got a scramble alert, you get on to, into your fighters, make out into space and start fighting whatever it is. Probably, I don't know, Earth Alliance Federation or something like that. <laughs> Since this is clearly a ship built for badasses and evil, evil masterminds, of course. Uh, so those are the ships right there. One problem that I noticed when I was actually initially flying this thing is that the ships will fall out. Uh, if you're doing sharp turns, and I think that's actually a problem with the game at the moment. And uh, it's, it's just, it seems like the magnetic force isn't strong enough or something, or they're not properly attached when you're doing these sharp turns. Everything just goes flying out. It's, it's kind of treacherous, actually. When you go check out the hangar afterwards, there's just holes everywhere and all the fighters are missing. Uh, but this brings up, uh, this is going to bring up a, a point here. Now, what people do in Space Engineers, uh, when they're building ships by themselves and with other people, they try to make ships look awesome on the outside, and that's just because of the limitations of the game right now. This thing looks absolute badass on the outside. Uh, it's in the same similar theme as the fighters, like you've got the engines at the back, and it's very sleek and whatnot. Looks really cool. But the problem with Space Engineers is that, there's not a lot of content for the interior of ships. When you're wandering through this thing, you'll notice just how bare it is. Like, you know, this is obviously some sort of viewing station of the hangar, but there's not any, like, computers or anything to actually decorate it. 
you go out into the observatories which are actually hanging out of the ship like over here there's not anything there's no like seats or plants or I don't know if you'd have plants on a badass ship but you get me like stuff to actually decorate the interiors and that's what you'll notice when you're actually walking through this thing it's rather bare now I know you've got actually some things like these medical bays for instance which are a very uh, which which would be cool especially in in survival mode when survival mode comes out but in creative they don't really have a purpose right now and that that that's, that's gonna make it really interesting when survival mode is out just imagine the potential and just what you can do when people will need to be healed up I think that will be so awesome right uh, and that's gonna bring on a second point over here in a second but I want to show you guys through the uh, ship for a bit so we've come over to the engineering uh, part of the ship I imagine the engineering deck where you have all the gyroscopes and the reactors these are big reactors as well they're not tiny Ooh, what's down there looks like we've got oh, I can't even see that properly what is this what is this it looks like some sort of uh, cargo containers or something of sorts and then some reactors and a uh, medical bay I guess <laughs> just I guess medical bay in the engineering place deck just in case something bad happens now it doesn't look like there's anything actually down here maybe that wasn't finished off I don't know could have been forgotten you never know but it says that the uh, ship was completed, so maybe that's just part of it. But that's towards the uh, bow of the ship, and we're working our way towards the stern over here. I like how there's interior turrets, actually. You can imagine if there's ever some sort of, like, breach on the ship, and uh, there's going to be interior combat. You can imagine those turrets would be so damn useful. We've also got some, like, barriers set up right there as well. Now, what would be really cool is if you could have, like, sliding doors... And I hope that, you know, these are sliding doors right here. But I hope that one day they'll be able to add more customizable doors, like, you know, double uh, double doors. So that, you know, you can place them around here and those will act as barriers, preventing people from moving on forward. Enemies, for instance, and they would have to destroy the doors in order to get on through. Or hack them, even. You know, that would be so cool if they had to hack the, uh, hack the, these, these, what do you, what the hell would you call it? Panels? <laughs> And there'd be like some sort of mini game. I think that would be really cool. So now on to the second point of what I was going to talk about. Uh, this ship is giving me a lot of ideas what I want to make for my next, not only ship but mini game, because uh, people want to get want to do different things in space engineers. I've already made like space soccer, which was just way out there. I've made space British bulldog and whatnot. And one of the next things I'm actually going to work be. Uh, showing you guys is pod racers with enclosed tracks it's all completed we've just got to make a video showcasing it uh, showcasing it and also the gameplay and whatnot but the next thing that I want to build afterwards is like a giant ship probably not this big but something that I can call my own so that I'm not just copying from someone and I want to make one ship like red and then another one that's blue and it's gonna have a same sort of idea where you're gonna have these hangar bays uh, with fighters with fighters that can come out of them. You'll be able to have turrets on each side, you know, on the port side, on the uh, starboard side of the ship, and just all around. And what it's gonna be is a game mode where you're gonna have to destroy the enemy ship. And by destroy the enemy ship, I mean destroy the 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 main cockpit in it. And I'll make like different zones. In the uh, ship so that you can put different co uh, cockpits in different areas of the ship so that each time you play uh, the game will panel differently so that people aren't aiming for specific areas of the ship just you know trying to destroy it as quick as possible uh, I think that would be really cool oh my gosh I got so many computers over here so many panels uh, and, and that game mode where you're gonna be destroying each other's ships it's gonna be awesome because you have like say 8 vs 8 because I think there's only a maximum of 16 people at the moment so you'll have like eight versus eight, uh, one person flying each giant ship, and then you'll have a number of people that can go out in fighters and do uh, mingling around the ships, attacking other fighters or attacking the big ships, whatnot. You'll have repair crews, you'll have people actually manning the turrets on the giant uh, mothership, and yeah, it'll be awesome. I'm not sure if eight people will be enough for 
for it to be absolutely awesome, but uh, eight, eight first eight, I think you'll get a decent match going. Mm, I, I'd imagine, you know, if you had like 12 versus 12, then it'd be more on the appropriate side. But that's, that's probably one of the next things I'm going to work on. And it also brings up the point about having like survival mode. Let's actually get inside this, uh, this giant thing and we'll fly it around for a bit so you guys can see while I'm talking. Uh, but to have like survival mode in this game would be awesome where if your ship got damaged and if I had to make amendments, so if I was to do that game mode, if, you, if your mothership got hit by like a rocket or something, then you'd need to actually have resources to start patching it up. It wouldn't be just unlimited, you know, play, place down as many blocks as you want. But at the same time, you'd have to limit missile fire. And I think the missiles do fire a bit faster in this game right now. Uh, and so if you could limit the missile fire, that'd be absolutely awesome. Uh, in survival mode, it would be just so cool. So let's take a look at what's going down in the hangar bay. As you can see, uh, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> the ships, even though they are attached, at least they, they're green. I'm not sure if I had to get back in them and then reattach them. I'm not sure. That actually might have been the problem. They sort of started went flying everywhere, as you can see. So maybe, actually, maybe I'd have to go in them and reattach them because I've noticed that bug where sometimes if you're playing multiplayer with people, you can attach something, but it won't be attached for them uh, necessarily, whoever else you're playing with. So this uh, that gives you this uh, giant carrier, I guess you could say. It gives you an idea of like what you can do in this game. And uh, just also thinking about you know what game modes could come out of come from uh, having such giant spaceships is uh, it'll be absolutely awesome absolutely awesome I, I think i'm still gonna make that game mode anyway uh so that you guys can try it out play it have fun but also i think it'll be cool once the game's updated and you have survival mode and then playing that game mode oh man that's just gonna be huh that's just gonna be so cool so that pretty much shows you the usf enterprise You've got computers all the way around over here. I think it would be really nice if there was just more interior stuff, but it's I'm not I'm not blaming EC Moon. I'm just saying that uh, if if Space Engineers actually added more more content, that'd be really nice. Uh, but they've got a lot of stuff that they're working on with multiplayer and getting that stabilized. I mean, the game, for God's sake, is pretty much in well, it is an alpha, uh, and it's far from it's potential of what it's going to be someday it's all an alpha it's like minecraft when minecraft was out in an alpha uh, had barely any content but you can imagine this thing this game in two years time a lot more content a lot more things to do probably a lot more people playing as well i think that'll be absolutely epic so anyway we'll call it a show there guys brought up some interesting ideas talked about some cool stuff and yeah we'll leave it there so until next time this is krebzy and I'll catch you guys later.